Hi, I'm Ski Oaken Full at Point Blank Online. I'm a producer, composer and keyboard player and I've worked with bands and artists like Incognito, The Bays and Joey Negro. And you're watching Electronic Music Composition. In this series, we're going to look at classic tracks and see what elements make them tick, including chords, riffs, arrangements, sounds and melodies. I'll be showing you how those elements are put together. If you want to request specific tracks for me to look at next time, get in touch on Twitter using the hashtag on screen plus your track title. So this week we're going to be looking at Emily Sande's Heaven, which features some great string parts and a standout chord sequence. Let's get started. Let's play through this song and listen to the chords. One, two, three, four. So this is F major, D minor seven, this is A minor nine, and this is G, and that repeats round. So we've got F major again, just a triad, D minor seven, A minor nine, and then G. You noticed on that uh, second to last chord, I played an A minor, and then I halfway through I went to an A minor, A minor nine, and um, it's just a variation. It's uh, if you listen to the strings on this track, the strings are moving around quite a bit, so there are um, some different notes coming in, some passing notes uh, we call them. So now let's have a look at the bridge. Um, a bridge is basically a pre-chorus and it's, a, it's normally a section that leads into the chorus to kind of add some crescendo, some build into the next section. So let's uh, go through these chords. Starting off on a D minor 7. Then going to an F, F major. Then to an A minor. And we've got a passing chord here, so the G. And then a new chord, which is actually D major. Then we go back to a D minor 7. Then up to the A minor this time, and we stay on that A minor again, and then have this passing G chord, which is over B, and then going to the D. Now this D is uh, an interesting chord, it's the four chord of A minor, and the fact that it's a major rather than a minor, it feels like it's actually leading into something, something dramatic is going to happen afterwards. And the, dr the dramatic thing that happens is this new chord, which is F. So we're going from D major to F here. And uh, it just adds some kind of anticipation to the next section, which is the chorus. So now let's have a look at the chorus and play along with that as well. This is quite short, um, much shorter than the other sections. Uh, but in the end, at the end of the song, then we have a chorus outro, which basically goes round it a few times. Um, so let's listen to that. Starting on an F chord. Then going to a D minor 7. Then to the A minor 9. And then finishing on the G. So these are the main chords that make up the song. There aren't that many of them actually. I think altogether about four or five. So if you could try practicing by playing along with them, that'd be great. So if you're into this, then head over to pointblankonline.net and check out the EMC course. Remember, if you want to suggest tracks for us to look at, tweet the track name using the hashtag on screen. We'll feature as many as we can. See you next time.